Originally developed in the 1990s as an affordable, reliable, and versatile fourth-generation fighter, the Gripen was designed to meet Sweden's unique defense needs, emphasizing operational flexibility, ease of maintenance, and rapid turnaround from dispersed locations. Its lightweight design and multi-role functionality have made it attractive to air forces with limited budgets and those not expecting to face advanced, stealth-equipped adversaries. However, the rapid evolution of air combat technology, particularly the rise of stealth, sensor fusion, and networked warfare, has exposed the Gripen's limitations. Even with the latest EF variants boasting advanced AESA radar, improved electronic warfare suites, and enhanced networking capabilities, the Gripen lacks the low observability and integrated warfighting features that define fifth-generation fighters like the F-35. This technological gap means that in heavily contested airspace against peer adversaries, the Gripen is at a disadvantage, and its suitability as a frontline multi-role fighter is increasingly questioned. Despite these challenges, the Gripen is far from obsolete. The 2025 upgrades, including a more powerful engine, refined avionics, advanced radar, hypersonic missile integration, and improved stealth features, have significantly enhanced its speed, survivability, and combat effectiveness. These improvements allow the Gripen to remain a competitive and cost-effective option for countries focused on regional defense or air policing, rather than high-end, peer-to-peer conflict. Its operational flexibility, such as the ability to launch from highways and rapid turnaround times, remains a unique advantage in certain strategic contexts. The Gripen's future, however, is tied to the evolving nature of aerial warfare. As Sweden and other operators look toward fifth and even sixth generation fighter programs, the Gripen's role will likely shift towards supporting roles or service with air forces that do not require the most cutting edge capabilities. For nations facing advanced threats or seeking interoperability with top-tier NATO air forces, the Grapen is increasingly viewed as a transitional platform rather than a long-term solution.